Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayers on Wednesday, July 7. Let's begin with our opening sentences. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. From Psalm 51. O depth of wealth, wisdom, and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are God's judgments, how untraceable are God's ways. The source, guide, and goal of all that is, to God be glory forever from Romans 11. Our morning psalm this morning is Psalm 42. As a deer longs for flowing streams, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and behold the face of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while people say to me continually, where is your God? These things I remember as I pour out my soul. How I went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of God, with glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving, a multitude keeping festival. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. My soul is cast down within me, therefore I remember you from the land of Jordan and of Hermon, Mount Miser, deep calls to deep at the thunder of your cataracts. All your waves and your billows have gone over me. By day, the Lord commands his steadfast love, and at night, his song is within me, a prayer to the God of my life. I say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why must I walk about mournfully because the enemy oppresses me? As with a deadly wound in my body, my adversaries taunt me, while they say to me continually, where is your God? Why are you cast down on my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall praise him again, my help and my God. And our scripture reading this morning also comes from the book of Psalms. It's Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. This is the word of the Lord. Welcome to the month of July and a new theme for morning prayers. Summer is the time when most of us slow down a little, take vacations, step away from some of our commitments, and seek renewal in downtime. So our theme for this month is resting in the Lord. And what better way to start than with the 23rd Psalm? And it's beautiful images of rest, security, and providence. In this famous passage, God, who is our shepherd, promises to take care of all of our needs, food, water, shelter, protection, security, and greater abundance than we could ever need. And it's interesting to note how little we, the sheep, do in this passage. By and large, we are the recipients of God's beneficence. We don't experience want, we lie down, we receive guidance, we are restored, we walk, we are comforted, we receive a prepared table, we receive anointing with oil, we receive an overflowing cup, we are pursued by goodness and mercy, and we dwell. That's it. We don't earn these blessings. We don't earn this grace. We receive and accept it. That's it. That's all we have to do. 
And I think there are a couple of reasons why that's all that we have to do. First of all, these are God's free gifts to us because that's who God is. Part of God's nature is wanting to be this loving, generous parent who provides for all our needs and keeps us safe. But also, God gives us sustenance and security and rest because God knows we need it. We need time to slow down. We need rest. We need seasons in our lives when we're not trying to do it all. Doing it all is never what God asks of us. And sometimes what God asks of us is to lie down beside the still waters and let our souls be restored. This message can be hard for us to hear because we live in a culture that values accomplishment, getting it done, getting ahead. We admire people who work long hours, are always on, who never take their time off and are always available to do more. But there's a way in which that mindset of constant accomplishment runs counter to God's values. God has work for us to do, of course, but ultimately what God wants from us is relationship. And constant doing can get in the way. When we slow down and do less, we make more space in our lives for God to come in. And God knows that we are finite. We don't have all the energy or time or resources in the world. We wear out. And I think seeing us, God's little beloveds, running ragged and worn down, I think that grieves God. Rest and restoration are part of God's desire for us. So let's embrace them. Let's spend a little time this month, this summer, being intentional about doing a little less, resting a little more, and making a little more space in life for God to come in. So whatever the still waters look like for you in your life, Accept God's invitation to lie down there for a while and restore your soul. Amen. Please join me now in a time of prayer and thanksgiving. Satisfy us with your love in the morning, and we will live this day in joy and praise. From Psalm 90. God of all mercies, we praise you that you have brought us to this new day. Brighten our lives with the dawn of promise and hope in Jesus Christ. Especially we thank you for the warmth of sunlight, the wetness of rain and snow, and all that nourishes the earth. For the presence and power of your spirit, the support and encouragement we receive from others, for those who provide for public safety and well-being, and for the mission of your church around the world. Merciful God, strengthen us in prayer that we may lift up the brokenness of this world for your healing and share in the saving love of Jesus Christ. Especially we pray for those in positions of authority over others, for the lonely and forgotten, for children without families or homes, for agents of caring and relief, for the church in Asia and the Middle East, and for those you have given us to pray for in particular, we pray for healing for Jonathan Anastad and for Daryl McCollum. We pray for comfort for Kathy Cecil's brother Tom and their family, and for Susan Kester and her family. We pray for strength and comfort for caregivers serving those with Alzheimer's and dementia. Eternal God, you never fail to give us each day all that we ever need and even more. Give us such joy in living and such peace in serving Christ that we may gratefully make use of all your blessings and joyfully seek our risen Lord in everyone we meet. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Please join me now in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Go today with this blessing from the book of Romans chapter 12. So far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised.